Lisa Coy here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And this week I have a really special treat. I know you've probably seen a few of my Ask Anissa's lately where I've had guests and I have another special guest for you today asking me a question on camera. We are in Las Vegas at the Experience Trade Show and I am so excited to have David here with me and David is from Australia. I am. Right? Canberra? Yes. Did I say that right? Yes. <laughs> and he is going to ask us a question on camera. So David, what's your question? For me. Anissa, mm -hmm. what's the difference between ozone and a hydroxyl? Okay, so um, there is a huge scientific explanation there that I'm not even going to remotely try to um, regurgitate. So, to put it in simple terms, it's um, a uh, doesn't hurt people. Hydroxyl. So the difference between ozone and hydroxyl. Hydroxyl does not hurt people. Hydroxyl does not harm things. Hydroxyl does not leave behind a chemical smell. And hydroxyl works on a wider variety of odors and VOCs. So. It's really the biggest reason that I prefer hydroxyl over ozone is because originally in 2009 when I was introduced to the um, Odorox machines, I actually tested it on an odor I could not get rid of with ozone. I mean, I tried and tried everything, cleaning all of it. I could not get rid of this terrible odor, and I brought in an Odorox hydroxyl machine and, you know, within 48 hours, completely gone. It smelled like I had a brand new house smell. Um, the other thing that I love about hydroxyl versus ozone, which is one of the big, big things to me, is it's so much safer. Like, if you and I were standing here, and I was running a hydroxyl machine in front of us, we'd be just fine. Just fine. Um, if an ozone machine was running in front of us, um, it literally could pull you if it fills up in the room and removes all the oxygen, because obviously we're humans, and we have lungs, and we need oxygen to be alive. The other thing is, you know, you could run hydroxyl on something that's wet, it doesn't damage it. You run ozone on something that's wet, it will it can bleach it because it turns it to peroxide, right? Yep. Yep. Um, don't ask me how I know that. Um, <laughs> and it had to do with an oak table, but yes. Uh, the other thing is is that ozone can kill plant, kill fish, um, you know, you could you could ruin uh, rubber, uh, leather, it tears leather apart because it's a natural fiber. So ozone um, is very damaging and hydroxyl is not. So really that's the biggest thing um, in the industry as far as restoration goes the biggest biggest thing on getting the job done is it works better on a wider variety of odors eliminating them and the VOCs so hydroxyl by far to me is way superior so awesome sounds like I'm buying a new machine <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So anyway, thank you so much, David, for coming on camera with me. And I want to thank you, as usual, for spending time with me um, on camera. I appreciate your time. Oh, and we have a special gift since David came and did Ask Anissa live on camera with me that he can take back to Australia with him. One of these very cool r and &R coffee mugs with the cool little lid. And oh, I want to tell you, this dishwasher safe, so you'll be happy to hear that. So we're going to send this home uh, with David to Australia. I'm happy you did ask Anissa now for sure. It was worth coming all the way just for this. <laughs> Hey, again, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me. You know how much I value your time. Send me your questions, Anissa at FirehouseEducation.com, and I just might feature you on next week's Ask Anissa video call.